Hi, beautiful. How are you? Are you excited? I'm so honored that you asked me to do your prom makeup. Are you looking forward to it tonight? You're going to have such a good time. I'm glad you came in your dress. That way I can get a visual for what we're working with. What direction do you think that you want to go in with your makeup tonight? Sure, yeah. Kind of like a more natural glam, but more on the glam side of that. <laughs> I love that. That's going to be really beautiful with your dress. And I did bring your accessories, like you asked. I cannot wait. They look amazing. So, uh, I know you have to leave here in just a little bit to get your pictures taken, because that is a whole thing before prom. So, let's get started, shall we? Yes. Uh, you washed your face before you came over? Beautiful. Alright, so, let's get started. This is our SPF. I know it's a nighttime dance, but... Like I said, the pictures beforehand are a whole thing. So let's get you some protection, right? Definitely don't want to go with a sunburn. Trust me. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to bore you with a bunch of when I went to prom stories, but close your eyes, please. Yeah, when I went to prom, <laughs> we went, uh, my mom signed me up for like a suntan, like the bedding, sunbed things, tanning beds. That's the word. Not at all. I did not enjoy that. I was like, I am pale. Embrace it. <laughs> okay. Got that all rubbed in. And I do also have a moisturizer from Lush. A little sample. Celestial. Let me get put that on these today, too. That's good. Yeah, there's no real smell to it. Are y'all going to dinner before the prom? Is it just going to be you and your date or a bunch of friends? A bunch of friends. That is so much fun. I didn't think of that. Okay. Oh, rubbed in. Yeah. I went to prom three times. And had a great time. Freshman year, junior year, and senior year. All right. Well, that's not true. The first year, the freshman year, I went with friends. All right. I was invited to go uh, with some older friends. So let's put on our primer. Elf Liquid Poreless Putty Primer. I would say, say that, was it three times fast? Seven times fast? I don't know. Several times fast, but I struggle, <laughs> struggle, struggle with alliteration. It trips me up every time. And get that into my nose there. Cute little nose. Your cheeks a little bit, and your chin. There. All right, and I'm gonna get our little fan here, and uh, help that dry a little quicker. Has a cute little stand. With I love your dress. It's beautiful. Where did you get it? Oh, nice. Is it comfortable? And equally important, are your shoes comfortable? I know a lot of kids today are wearing like sneakers with more formal dresses, and I, for one, am for it. All right. Yeah, I don't. I did wear heels to prom, but honestly, <laughs> I wore my shoes for like 10 minutes and then kicked them off and we all had a good time. Okay, let's, 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 let's look here. So I have a couple of options for you for foundations. I have the, what is this? I use this all the time too. Ah, it's right down the back. Maybelline Fit Me in the shade. 
struggle bus. No, that's, <laughs> that's what I'm driving today. It's in the shade 220, natural beige. It looks a little bit darker than it does in the bottle, but it's actually a pretty good shade match for us. We have that, and if you want to go for a more luminous, which is definitely an option, obviously, uh, I have the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. You want to go for the uh, Maybelline? Absolutely, and give it a good shake. We don't want it to be separated. I know, I have a bruise right here. I don't know what happened. <laughs> With as graceful as you know that I am, <laughs> it should not surprise you that I have mystery bruises. I just saw it today, though. Honestly, I've been doing a lot of yard work, so it's probably where it came from. Alrighty. And so we have that on our little palette. Let's find a brush. Get my brushes over. You ready? Close your eyes, please. Over your nose. I'm just going to take our little sponge and blend that out. Okay. Do you have any plans for the summer? Now the school year is winding down. It kind of caught me off guard, actually. <laughs> I looked around and I said, oh my goodness, it's the time for prom already, my heavens. That's how you know you're getting a little bit older. <laughs> you just like blink and the year's gone. Okay, so let me grab my concealers. Okay, we'll give you a few options here. All right, now for your concealer, I picked out the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover in the color Perfect Beige. This is a very nice color match to the Fit Me Maybelline in the Natural Beige. So, let's get that on here. Oh, I just dropped the whole thing. There we go. All right. So what are y'all doing after the prom? Do you have any big plans for that? Here. Oh, there it is. Okay. Yep. That sounds like fun. Yeah, when I went to prom, my house was the hangout house because all the parents knew that my parents would be there and uh, keep an eye on things, and they did. But we had a lot of fun. Close your eyes, please. I'm just going to go like right up here. Perfect. Or, no, don't close your eyes. Look up. We had a, a luau, actually. Not like a, a real one, but we had a pool, and my parents had it opened up. So we get a few spots here. Nothing too much. Okay. One more right there. Okay, perfect. So yeah, they had the pool opened up. We had tiki torches going everywhere. My dad stayed up until like three in the morning and he grilled burgers and hot dogs for everybody. It was a little bit chilly still, but it was a very good time and all of us kids were safe. Okay. It was very cool. Um, so your 
base is done. You look beautiful. Let us look at blushes, shall we? I have two. Oh, maybe three. Let's see. For your bronzer, I brought down the Tartist Pro Glow. This is one of my favorites and saved for special occasions. Yeah, there's blushes in here, so we can look at these two. I have these two blushes. They're more of a neutral. And then our highlighters and our bronzers here. And I have, a, I have the Wet n Wild blush, Bed of Roses. This one is so pretty and it lasts a very long time. Great if you're going to be dancing. And this one's also very nice. I have the Minnie Mouse blush from Revolution. There's two of them in here. They are super duper pigmented. <laughs> A little bit goes a very long way. So, what do you think? You want like a more natural, very faint blush, or something that's, you know, reasonable but still kind of like a little bit more noticeable? I agree completely. I think we should go with more natural blush and really play up your eyes. And there's a fun option for a lip, but I'm going to say that as a surprise. It's very unexpected, but amazing and gets wow results every time. So let me get a makeup wipe to clean off our palette and we can continue on. Yeah, my house was always kind of like the hangout house because again, all the parents, well, my parents were definitely going to be there. <laughs> keeping an eye on things. All right. It was a lot of fun though we had a good time. So let's find our blush brush. Houdini has come over to say hi. Hey bud. Okay. Mm, do you want like a more mauve or more pink? Now, what I think we should do is talk highlighters. See, this palette also has highlighters in it. Again, a more natural. Or, I have the Tartist Pro Glow Liquid Highlighter. This one's very nice. Or, my Juvia's Place, which I love as well. Uh, highlighter here. I don't think this has a color. It does. Ivory Light. <laughs> Does have a color. This one probably has one. Yes, sparkler. So what are we thinking? Yeah, I was going to suggest going with the more natural one because your accessories that you requested kind of covers up this area anyway. And if you go with the more oil-based one, frankly, like the other two, uh, it's going to wear off and smudge and not look like you want it to, I don't think. So... Yeah, I think that the powder ones that are a little bit more natural are going to be the way to go. So let's see. Let's get some swatches here. And tell me what you think. I mean, it's a highlighter, so <laughs> this one's more champagne-y, and this one's more icy. Or not icy, but white, I guess. You want to go the more champagne-y color? I like that. I agree. I haven't used this in a while. It's like I said, I save it for special occasions. Light tonight. Alright. And of course, I'm just going to go boop, boop, right there. Boop, boop, right there. Do you want to go down your nose? Do a little exclamation point? Sure. Perfect. They're so precious. Okay. Actually,
actually, since I have you here, let's go on and do our bronzer as well. I'm not going to do a ton. I'm just going to do like on your forehead. Yeah, I don't think you need any like contouring or anything like that. So uh, let's look at these. This is the only bronzer option I have here tonight, I believe me. We have this one, which is again more neutral, and this one's a little bit deeper. So let's take a look at these as well. So what do you think? We have the neutral and the deeper here. You want to go the little bit deeper one? I like it. I'm here for it. Whatever you want, my darling. Okay. I have to wipe that off because that will get everywhere on me and that will be a mess. <laughs> All right. And just on your forehead here. Blend it in. It's a big brush, I know. Okay. So now, for me, the fun part. It's all fun and games until we get to the eyes. And that's when things start happening. <laughs> so. I don't have a ton of options tonight because I kind of figured the way you'd want to go with it. But I do have a new eyeshadow palette I wanted to show you. Well, two, both are new. But new to you. <laughs> this one's new to you. This is the Morphe 2. Nope. Yep, there we go. And this one's more pastels. There's a couple of good shades in here. I mean, they're all nice, but for what you're looking for. Uh, if I can get a different... There we go. I like this color and this color. I'm wearing this one and this one tonight, but I'm not going for the same look either. So there's these, and this is the direction I think we'll probably take, if you agree. This is the Natasha Denona Bronze Palette. Three simple little colors, but I think they are perfect for a really nice neutral glam look. Yeah, let's do some swatches. Just three quick, oh, they're so soft. Very simple little colors here. So, the swatches. Oh, look at that. Nice pop right there. Ooh, that's pretty. <laughs> what do you think? You want to go with that one? Yeah. Definitely, we can do that. I think the accessories that you've selected will really bring the drama to a more or less simple, neutral look. You don't want to have too many things competing after all. Oh, well, I mean, maybe you do. I don't know. <laughs> Who am I to judge, right? Which really nobody. So let us do this. I think I'm going to do this as a transition shade, usually, just to um, deepen it a little bit. And then the moment. <laughs> so let's get that. And a little bit more. Close your eyes. Really nice. And I'm going to use my finger and get this shimmer. That is so pretty. I don't know. It's not a shimmer. What would you call it? Metallic? sure what I would call that. I mean, I guess I would call it a shimmer, but <laughs> I don't think that's what it would qualify as. And on this finger, and of course, using the ring finger there. Because it's the most gentle. Perfect. And just a little bit. Yeah, once you really kind of find your groove with eyeshadow, 
It doesn't take very long to do. Just in the outer corners here. Open it up just a little bit. Perfect. And just a little bit on your other eye over here. Close. Perfect. Thank you. Alrighty. So let us blend those out now. Let me get my blender. To smudge anything out on the lower lash line. Yeah. Okay. Actually, I have a fun pop of color. I thought we could play with the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner BFFs in the shade Ventura Boulevard. I think this, since we're going kind of neutral everywhere else, we'll talk about the lip, <laughs> but more or less neutral everywhere else. This would be a fun pop, like right on the lower lash line. Yay! I love when you let me play. Okay. Look up for me. Excellent. This is a fun duochrome color. Oh, beautiful. Look up. Okay, let me get this line right here. Excellent choice. I love it so much. So, I'm going to find, there we go, I'm going to blend this out and then go in with a black liner, I think, on the top. Yeah. Alrighty, look up again. Now, I know it's going to be awkward having something so close to your eye, but just, I know you trust me, so just look up. I'm just going to smudge that out just a little bit so it's not such a harsh line. love that. That is perfection. So since you're going to be dancing the night away, and I promise I will never do that again, I'm sorry, <laughs> but since you're going to be dancing the night away, I thought we would go with our standby Inglot cream liner. Do you want to do like a big wing, a little kitten wing, no wing, that's totally cool too. No wing today? Yeah, of course. All right. Just do a little bit. Yeah, you're right. Definitely, since we're going to be doing our fun accessory, don't want to do too much on the eyes. Okay, close. Excellent. And okay, and your other eye, please. Yeah, I love this cream liner. This is amazing. I wish they had that one. Perfect. Get that lid on there. So while that's drying, I usually go and do my brows. So let's see what we have for the brows. Yeah, you don't need much. I have my brow pencil here somewhere. My goodness. Oh, honestly, literally right in front of me. Okay. Oh my goodness. I knew I had it. All right. So I'm going to, yeah, you don't need much. You have been blessed in the brow department. I'm just going to brush through here. And now I'm going to take the 
pencil. Just go a little bit here. Awesome. And your one. Just brush it through one more time just to get that color all the way in. Okay, and this one. Beautiful. Uh, since you're going to be dancing and sweating, do you want uh, gel? I can do it. I have it. Sure. Oh, because I say I have it. Let me see if I can find it. <laughs> Found it. It's just a clear gel. Nothing fancy, but it doesn't have to be. Yeah, this will make sure these don't move throughout the whole fun night. Brows are done. Eye makeup is done. We have to do your mascara and your lashes. Um, and your lip. I can't wait. Okay. I have a couple of options for a mascara. I have the Revlon So Fierce Big Bad Lash. It's in the color blacker, blackest, blackest black, not blacker black, blackest black. And of course, the Lash Paradise waterproof. This is really nice. This one is not waterproof, um, but it is relatively easy to take off at the end of the night. This one is waterproof, and if you have an oil-based makeup remover, it comes off really easy. So, which one? This one? Yeah, I'm sure. All right. I'm gonna curl your lashes really quickly. Now look up a little bit. And this one, yep. Perfect. All right. And yeah, I really like the style of wand. It's really nice. Try not to blink while these are drying. It shouldn't take but just a few seconds, but I can't tell you the amount of times I've had to sneeze <laughs> halfway through putting my mascara on. It just transfers everywhere. It happens, I, honestly. I sneeze a lot, so it happens quite a bit for me. Yeah, allergies, right? So while that's drying, let us discuss the lip, shall we? I'm so excited. Now, obviously, you're free to choose whatever you want, but I will make my recommendations. So, first we have the Dose of Colors, Date Night, how appropriate, right? Uh, this is, yeah, it smells a little bit like vanilla. This is a bright red punch you in the face red <laughs> and it stains so even if it wears off it will still be around and of course you can take this with you to touch up but that is that this is a liquid lip and it stays a while next we have this pretty red the packaging is fun you know how i feel about that and look at how beautiful that is uh, I want to say engraved or embossed all the way around. So pretty, right? But that doesn't matter necessarily. This is a more cool toned red. So for the fun one, I will say you're going to see a lot of 
red, pink, neutral colored lips. But if you want to stand out, especially with the colored dress you have on and the accessories I'm going to give you here in just a minute, if you want to play with something a little more edgy, I would like to recommend a glitter lip. And not just any glitter lip. A black glitter lip. This is a showstopper. It is stunning. I use the case. I have this in black glitter and pink glitter. This is the color Cosmic Glitter. Is that the color? Galactica. Yeah, it's by Stay Golden Cosmetics. So I've worn these a couple of times. This is another special occasion. Definitely not an everyday <laughs> situation, but there's that one, and this is really beautiful. Or we have the color Bay B. B-A-E-B-Y. This is a really stunning pink. So what you do with these, and it stays on all night long through eating, drinking, sweating, whatever else, it will stay on. It doesn't transfer. It doesn't flake off. This stuff is Amazing. So what you do is you lay this glue down. This is a gloss bond. Literally, it says make it party proof. <laughs> because this stuff is amazing. It's really cool. So you lay the gloss down. I'll do it on my hand here. And you wait for it to dry. It doesn't smell great right now. Fresh out of the tube. It smells a lot like super glue. <laughs> But it's, it's kind of a clear gloss once it dries down. And then you take, and this is a, like a duochrome black glitter. This is amazing. It's so cool. Um, your glitter, I have to be very careful. And it comes with a little sponge applicator. So there's the black glitter one. It's kind of hard to see here, but uh, all on your lip, it's extremely opaque. And like I said, it's <laughs> very cool. Now they do recommend putting down a base layer first uh, of a color that's similar. And with the black one, they sent a black lip liner, which you use to color in all over your lip. So you go all over your lip with this, put down the clear, and then the Glitter. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking of. Now for the pink. This looks kind of like a candy, cotton candy color. Um, and I would go down with the let's see, this color. This is a this didn't come with it, but yeah, this is very pretty. This is a lip liner by Steve Laurent. And the color Vogue, just a pink. But that is the pink right here, obviously. And then the black on top. So what do you think you want to do? And you don't have to use these. I personally like them. I think they're super cool. And it's not something that everyone's going to have. But if you want to go more traditional, please be my guest. That is totally fine. I'm gonna go with the pink. I love that. Okay. Yay. So let's do that and we'll put your lashes on and I'll show you the accessories and then you have to go because it's getting late. Yeah. Okay. So really quickly just relax your lips. Great. And you're welcome to take this glitter with you. I'm just gonna go all over your lip here. Just shade it all in. But you will not have to touch this up. I wore this to a concert and stayed on all night, literally. I left the house at like noon and got back to the house, we'll say way later, <laughs> and it was still on. Everyone, everyone at the concert was asking me about it. It was very cool. Right now, when this gets on your lip, you cannot close your lips. You have to wait for it to dry, okay?
I know the smell is horrible, but it's absolutely worth it. It's going to be all over your lips. Stay Golden Cosmetics. They have a bunch of different colors, but I don't really go anywhere <laughs> all that often, so I don't have a need to have more. But my goodness, if I went to like concerts and whatnot more often, I'd be all over this. So let me let that dry down for just a minute and grab your sponge for this one. I it in here, but I don't think I did, and that's okay, because we can just use this, that'll work, all right, yeah, I know, keep them open, all right, so I'm going to get this glitter, and I'm dab it on your lip, okay, yep, you really want to pack it all. amazing pictures too. Of a video. Stunning. This I think is definitely the way to go. The black is fun. But I think this is perfect. Oh. Okay, I'm not gonna cry. You just look so beautiful. Oh my god. set this over here so you can take this with you, but I don't think you're going to need it. Let me grab the glue as well. Okay, there you go. Alright, okay, so let's get your lashes on. Alright, my love. These are the Lashaholic Luxury Lashes. Lashaholic. Don't think it has the type. Oh, Instaglam. Love that. What do you think? I thought they were perfect for tonight. Okay. And I'm just going to pop them right on for you. Close your eyes, please. Beautiful. Okay. Does that feel okay? Is it poking anywhere? Does it feel insecure? It looks good. Well, my goodness. All right. Yeah, these come pre adhesive fied. <laughs> uh, so, you're good to go. Close your eyes. Great. Stick that one right there. Uh, just a minute. Hmm. You look so beautiful. That would feel good too. do have your accessories right over here. And these are so fun. Okay. First, your mask. How cute is that? Yeah, so you see how that would hit like your highlighter? Don't want that, so. It's uh, metal. And it's not covered in plastic, so all of this is breathable for you. So if you're going to be out there dancing, you're not going to be sweating behind like a plastic mask. This is really nice. Yeah, I think it's a very cool touch. <sighs> That's kind of why I was thinking the black would be a very interesting touch. But I think the pink is definitely the way to go. So here's that for you. You can put that on here just a little bit. And your... Glove lips. I don't know what to call these. <laughs> yeah, these are very cool. I have one for each hand for you. And this just slips over your finger. Put it on this hand since I have lipsticks on this one. And then it ties to your wrist. Just a nice, kind of an alternative to a glove, but it still gives that look. And this goes beautifully with your dress. So I have one. 
question for you here. Please, this is my pleasure. I am so honored that you asked me to do your makeup. Now, we've had our fun. You're about to go have an amazing night, but I do have to mama bear for a minute here, okay? So, I apologize ahead of time, but I need this. If, for whatever reason tonight, you need me for anything, please call me. I will come get you. I don't care what time it is. I don't care where you are. I don't care why you're calling me. If you have too much fun, call me. You will not get in trouble. I will not tell anyone unless you want me to. This can be between you and me. I just want you to be home safe. Okay? If your friends need anything while you're out, please call me. If you feel they're in an unsafe position, they're doing something that you think is questionable, I won't, again, tell anyone. It'll be between you and me and your friend. All that matters is y'all getting home safely, okay? I will have my phone on all night. If you don't want to call me, just please reach out to somebody, okay? I love you so much. I hope you have the best night tonight. I'll see you in the morning.